Hey everybody, welcome back! These TikToks are what I would call a hot mess. Well, they confirmed that there is something in my ear. She goes, there's something in there. It's not a moth. How am I? Wonderful. How am I? She what? adds that it's curled up back there. Ooh, so now I'm waiting for curled. the nurses to come back and flush my ear out. I am so embarrassed, first of all, because that's so gross and I'm a clean person. But I'm also like, it's an uneasy feeling. There's a bug in my ear. <laughs> We're all done. Oh god. Oh. It was a spider. Oh. It was alive. Ah. I threw up. <laughs> I'm never sleeping again. <laughs> Girl, I'm crying right there with you. God, I had a thought. I had a thought. What was it? What was my thought? Honestly, this is one of the many reasons why I wear earplugs to sleep. If you're scared of this happening, like I am, wear earplugs. The spiders can't get in there if there's something blocking the way. <sighs> there's a little hot tip for you from Auntie Charlotte. I think I'm finally ready to share the spider in my ear experience. And I would like to clarify that I deal with traumatic experiences with humor. So if you see me smiling and laughing, that is because I'm traumatized. Me too. I will do a quick recap of what happened before I got to urgent care. About 4.45, 5 a.m., I wake up out of a dead sleep. Don't really know why. Go to the bathroom. Go to lay back down. And as I'm getting comfortable, I feel something in my ear. I thought it was the tassels on the end of my comforter. So I went back to sleep. Honestly, I think this is too disgusting to be... Yeah, like, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I'm grossed out. I can't do it! I don't want to know, babe! I don't want to know! I'm done, I'm done. It's I enough. <laughs> if I can't listen to it, they can't listen to it. If you guys wanna to listen to that story on your own time, obviously we are tagging the creators in this video as we always do. So if you wanna go check that out, check out the creators, check out all of the creators always. But I'm good, I'm good, I'm good on that story. I don't, I don't, I think I can go about my day without listening to it, so. Yo. This guy just got this troll's dead dad tattooed on his leg for this comment. Watch. This is one of the nastiest, cruelest comments that I've gotten. I think I am in recovery and that I've matured and I'm not even gonna engage with this. <laughs> <laughs> Max, I was so devastated to hear the news about your father. Whoa. Wow. This has got to be one of the pettiest things <laughs> I have ever seen. I mean, on a scale of one to 10 on the pettiness scale, this is chef's kiss. Um, num, 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 uh, num. It's off the charts. Um, num, num, this num, guy's num. next tattoo should straight up be when someone goes low, go lower. I mean, well, after a comment like this, I feel what he did. Justified. Fair game. Yeah. This for all the keyboard warriors out there. Be careful what you say and who you say it to because you truly do reap what you sow. I mean, I'm not gonna say he deserved it. I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. I mean, you're not gonna make me say it, I'm just not. But. Can you see that okay? <laughs> Is that why this guy has so many tattoos? Cause of all his haters? Imagine, imagine every time you get a nasty comment, you get a tattoo. That's some permanent petty right there. Great time. I had to pull this one aside. Hi, what's your name? Jovan. Okay, Giovanni, tell everybody at home what you just said to me. I told her that she looks better on a CP24 than in person. Really? <laughs> I love the honesty. Wow. Wow. <laughs> She's laughing, but also dying inside. <laughs> God, if someone said that to me, listen, I probably do look better, you know, in my YouTube videos than I do in person. I probably do. But if someone said that to me, six feet under.
It's over. It's over for me. I have been told actually that I look the same, which is good, I think. Or is it? Or is it? Oh. Oh, there's a plot twist. Oh, you look the same. Like, is the same, like the, the original, like, wait, so the videos, are they good or not? Oh, you look like you do in your videos. Awful. Awful. You look like shit in person and in your videos. Great. Why did she do that to herself on camera? <laughs> it's true. Why are you asking? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Okay. Just don't. Parents need to do better. I mean, kids really do be out here humbling you though. Like parents teach kids to be honest, so. <laughs> Oh man. Can we teach kids to be honest, but only in certain situations that don't hurt people's feelings? Or are we just being honest all the time? The last seemed like she was in pain. <laughs> God, dying inside slowly. Imagine you're with somebody of eight years and you have three kids together, but your man gets a promotion at work and he has to move an hour away. They're gonna put him up in the house. He can only be home on the weekends, but he's gonna be living, working Monday through Friday. Oh, and his nieces at the same time are in an unfit household because his brother passed away. So you go ahead and take complete guardianship of them. Invite them into your house, which was too small for all of you guys. So you buy a home with this man. Now remember, he's working, you're staying home. So you're not actually buying the home. He's buying the home, it's his name while you have this man's nieces and his children so you have five kids total home with you this man Jeez. actually was never well, maybe he was at first living and going to work you find out that he actually had a girlfriend on the side whose house he was going to and commuting to work from and then going home on there the weekends is. to hang out with his kids and his girlfriend his real girlfriend um and while he's home he's really not much of a dad anyways oh wait the girl was also married when her husband wasn't home they would stay there and if he was home they would get an airbnb so when the airbnbs got too expensive they decided to just get her a little one bedroom studio apartment that they could stay in and then all of a sudden out of nowhere he just randomly starts saying he doesn't want to be together anymore oh so maybe she like would go through his like work backpack and find these cody I hope you had a great day today. I'm sad you're coming back here alone, but the week will go by fast and we will be back together. Thanks for letting me come over and having your paperwork done. I can't wait to get my man back next week. Yeah, that would do it. Oh, okay. Yes, there's a lot. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, there's a lot. And imagine lot you think that your boyfriend is bringing both of your children to go see his work up north, but he actually brought them to see the girlfriend. All hypothetical questions. It didn't happen to me. It happened to my friend Nicole. So shout out to Shelby for being a real man. You guys both need therapy. So I don't know much about the girl, but I know that she has mental problems by reading those. That's what I know. I know that I haven't written a handwritten note like that <sighs> since middle school. And when I had to, because my boyfriend was in jail, that was a little different. It's a little <laughs> weird to be writing love notes like that, I think. It's a little immature. Red flag number one for me. I don't know why Cody didn't think that was a red flag. Or her buying him a notebook to write back and forth in. Spoiler, I don't think he ever wrote back to her, but they might still have a happy future together. Who knows? We'll see. I'll let you guys know them though i don't know i wonder what her husband thought of reading i have every emotion except regret like you home wrecking little hoe does she need to like learn she needs to be taught also home wreckers should have to wear like a shirt that says hi i'm a home wrecker i also am not a very big fan of how her name is spelled just so everybody knows no hate to anybody who spells their name like that besides her and i swear here this makes me so like sick to my stomach it's so f how we as women get put in these positions where like we're dependent on somebody else it drives me to want to be financially free so bad about to download indeed and get a job if there's one thing my grandma ever taught me 
It's make your own money. Don't be relying on these men for nothing. Also, the dude in this story has so much audacity. This woman like took on his entire family and he still cheated. Why did I know that was coming? How did I know that was coming? You just do. Sad to say. Sad. Did anyone else guess that like right away? <laughs> what does that tell you? What does that say about us and about society and about relationships? What does that say? Nothing good. I told my dad this was a bad idea. Oh, oh, dad. Oh, run, dad, run. Run, daddy, run. That would definitely be a dumb way to die. Like I'm not in construction, but even I could have told you that. Like we're hitting the bottom. I'm just honestly, I'm a little surprised that it fell the way that it did. No, it, mm. see, I'm a little surprised that it like didn't fall toward the side that was, or am I? Like it kind of makes sense that like the foundation, half the foundation wouldn't be able to stand the weight yeah, that makes sense. Like it does. It does make sense. It's not like chopping a tree. <laughs> this is not a tree. You're not chopping a tree down. The important thing is that everyone is okay, but your dad literally just took down the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So there's something for the history books. But he spent the rest of his life casually saying, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> yes, dad, it worked, but you almost died. You almost died. Bro got caught cheating by his girl and this happened. Go, go, go. Just be the bigger person. <gasps> no! Oh, is that his laptop? Oh, bestie. Oh. Wait a second, wait a second. Hold on, hold the phone. You cheated on that? You you cheated on her? Bro fumbled. He fumbled so hard. Look how hard she is, bro. <laughs> Look at her. Look how pretty. Idiot. Idiot! Bro fumbled the hottest gal I've ever seen and got his laptop broken. Or is that an Xbox? Is that an Xbox? Is that the modem for the internet? No, no, that maybe that's a PlayStation. I don't know, whatever it is, I just can't stop staring at her. <laughs> don't ask me the color of anything except maybe her dress, which I know for a fact is green. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh. Maybe it's the skinny jeans and the baseball cap turned backwards and the really casual attire. Looks like he's making a run to Walmart real quick on his wedding day. Perhaps that could have been the first clue that he really wasn't taking this day very seriously. Um, and something about the way that he is smiling and grinning at somebody in the audience, whoever he was performing for. Is he smiling at someone in the audience? <laughs> be maybe he's just smiling at everyone like oh god oh uh, uh, yucky why are we tackling our wife with cake on her wedding day on your wedding day too babes not off to a great start See, this is what I'm talking about. You see the look on his face? Look how pleased he is, he is as he shows all the other men in the audience this is how I treat my wife she's mine now I could treat my property any way I want to because it belongs to me that's how it's coming across there are certain things that a man that loves, honors, and cherishes you will never do. Humiliating you for the cheap laugh of a couple of folks in the audience is one of those things in my opinion. And to me, we have to stop nervously laughing at these things. There is nothing cute, funny, or just slightly even hilarious about a man overpowering a woman, wrestling her down to the ground. She clearly doesn't want it. Like if this was any other scenario, would we really let a man do all of this and we laugh about it? If you were at a bar and a man no. was shoving cake at a woman's face, would it be funny and cool no. then? If you were at any function, a birthday party, why is it okay and perfectly acceptable for cake smashing of this magnitude to be laughed at and to even be applauded because it's a wedding day? Like, is, is that saying that you give him permission now? Oh, that's what she signed up for? Is it? I just don't get why people keep on doing this and the, the crowd keeps on laughing about it. I mean, listen, okay, maybe, maybe she consented to it. I don't know, I'm not sure. But I would imagine in a social situation like that, like you don't wanna ruin the wedding. Like you don't know, the crowd doesn't know if this was like priorly agreed upon. Not making excuses, but if I ever saw that in person, I like to think 
that I wouldn't laugh. Just after watching all of these videos and like talking about it so much, like I just don't, I don't find it funny. I find it embarrassing. And not for the person whose face is getting smashed with cake. Okay, so it was a bet from what I'm understanding. I just, I still just don't find it funny. Like not in the slightest. I just don't. As Fred and Andy. What are you doing? Step into marriage. We asked their families and friends wait, to wait, continue wait. to show support. What are you doing, sir? <laughs> sir? Uh, oh, is he saying congratulations? <laughs> is he hitting on the bride? Wait a second, wait a second. Does she know him? Oh, okay, what is this, Baywatch? Oh my god, it's a thong! It's a thong! Please tell me he knew her, please. Or did this dude in a thong literally just come up to the bride and try to steal her on her wedding day? Ooh, that's messy. We love that. We love that for me and you and her. <laughs> Why the first thing a girl do when she get out of a relationship is start moving like a hoe? Like. I didn't say a thing. I didn't say a word. If you can't say something nice, just act really awkward and say it with your face. <laughs> How? How? How can it be fixed? I would just say you should round it up. I would say no. you can buy me a new one. Why would you ruin the tip of the makeup? The, the tip, the thing that you need to put. Yeah, because I'm about to fucking ruin it, Grace. Admit that you did it, though. Admit it. Oh. Admit that you did this. Fuck off and go fix it. Admit yourself. that you, you don't did have time this. to be sitting like this when your makeup looks like that. Come on. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Was this fight over a lipstick? She used her lipstick before the ceremony. Whoa. Okay. Okay, bestie. Like we love some Charlotte Tilbury in this house, but it's not that serious. Okay. That's a fifty-dollar lipstick. It's not that serious. Where's the fire? To be fair, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick is really wonderful. Like, I love it a lot. I'm not sure if this warrants this reaction, though. Aren't weddings supposed to be about love? Can we take it down a notch? Down a notch. Are they sisters? Or just besties? Or mortal enemies? Honestly, there's no difference. <laughs> Graduate wasn't too happy we ruined his face. Oh, oh, okay, all right. The only appropriate time for cake smashing. 